weekend, Splatter Flick Chick, here with George Kasana. We're going to talk a little bit about Night of the Living Dead. Thank you for making a few minutes to talk to us this evening. Thank you for inviting me. Sure. Why don't you um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing now. Night of the Living Dead was your big breakthrough. Yes, it was, as all of us. And right now, I'm rewriting a screenplay that I wrote that won an award in Houston, the Silver Award. It's a situation comedy, uses gambling as a vehicle and deals with the misadventures of two friends. I see. I'm also working on a trilogy that deals with three distinctly different psychological disorders. That'll be interesting. And I'm also on the back burner formulating how I'm going to approach doing an unsolved murder that took place in my hometown. And, Fascinating! And I am a still photographer, a member of the Photographic Society of America, and I just returned from New England in Cape Cod filming whales in the tall ships and targets of opportunity. And other than that, and doing the circuit, and other than that, I don't have anything to do. You're not doing anything. And I'm still, I'm still acting. And there's a few projects that, if they do finally get funded, will do them. But if they don't get funded, we won't do it. Well, right, that's kind of how it goes, right? Yeah. Who helps you? Who helps you with um, the funding? Curious how you do your fundraising. You know, when you there are a number of ways. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can do limited partnership agreements. You can do uh, finding an angel. That's sure. Somebody who's rich is yes. going to put up all the money. Yes. But for the most part, it's trying to generate interest so that companies pick it up and want to get involved. Sure. And do you have a marketing agent? Somebody does their PR for you? Well, not right now because we sort of uh, have a number of projects going in opposite directions. You're juggling. Like Russ and Jack and George Romero are involved in a Canadian project to do a stage play of Night of the Living Dead. I have to go to Omaha, Nebraska shortly to do another convention. Okay. So, you know, it's a little hard to communicate. Of course it yeah. is. Yeah, I, trying to line up everybody's schedule, yeah. especially when you stay this busy. And the sad thing about this business is people keep offering me roles, but they want me to do it for free. Right, right. If it's funded, you'd be happy to participate in their project. Yeah. I understand that completely. I'm not greedy. Well, you got to make pay the bills. Yeah, that's right. Right, everybody that does. The light goes on when the bill's paid. If the bill's not paid, the light doesn't go on. That's right, on. right. Well, a lot of indie filmmakers today use, you know, the Indiegogo campaigns and some of the other, you know, vehicles to try to raise money. So I was just kind of curious as somebody that's, you know, established and, you know, been in this, there's in the good, industry for so long. There's a good friend of mine who was a doctor of drama and fine arts at the University of Southern Illinois in Springfield, and he gave me a book. There are over 53 different ways to finance your film. Do you remember the name of that book? That's the name of it. They're, oh, wow. Yeah. And Great there, information for every, a filmmaker. Every once in a while, I pick it up and leaf through it. And if something strikes me that's worth pursuing, I'll take a shot. Nice. But other than that, I'm not going to wait for an offer to come to me because it'll never get to my door. you got to get up and make it happen yourself. That's right. If you don't, no one will. Yep. I'm a firm believer in that. So. so you're staying busy on the convention circuit. Your table is covered. You've got all kinds of goodies. Well, thank all you. All three of you do. Thank this you. This is a really... I was looking at this when I first walked up. This is beautiful. Those are laser-etched slates. Interesting. I've not seen any any of the guests saw something like that. So, mm -hmm. cool. It was great talking to you. And I got them reduced to show in price. Good idea. So Better to sell them than to take them with you when you leave. Yes. Yep. <laughs>
and well, I thank you for your time and effort. Well, thank you. I appreciate you taking a few minutes, and this is great information for you know other filmmakers out there looking to raise money. And uh, where's your next convention? What's the next one? I think we're in Nashville. Nashville? Yeah, and I'm in Omaha by myself. But after that, I think we're in Nashville together. Gotcha. I gotta check my schedule. Okay, if, all right. If I turn on my computer and it says grab your hat, I know I'm going somewhere. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, good. I'm glad you're staying busy. But I, I appreciate the show having me, and I and look glad. forward to doing whatever I can to make it a success. Appreciate it. Great guy. Take Thanks care. for your time. I'm sure I'll see you again. Oh, yeah.